this right here is the 2015 MacBook Pro and I've been with this MacBook for more than one year right now. Okay, and from the name, you know that this MacBook has been out for 10 years, one decade. Today's 2025, right? Should you still go for this MacBook? Is it still worth it or should you probably go for some other MacBook? If that is a question you have been asking yourself, then you are on the right video. What you need to do is to watch this video to the very end to get the full information. Because I'll talk about the design, the build, the you know the performance, what can this laptop handle, and everything you can think of. Okay, even why I love this MacBook up to today and why I don't like it. So stay tuned to get the full information. And guys, do not forget to give it a thumbs up if you love what you're about to hear, and also click on the subscribe button below and turn on the bell notification icon. So that when I create some more videos like this, you'll be the first to get notified because trust me, on my channel here, I talk about gadgets, iPhone, Samsung, if next techno, whatever. I do that right here on my channel. Okay, so let's proceed. Now, the first thing I'm talking about is the design of this MacBook. The MacBook Pro 2015 uses the same design as the MacBook Pro 2012. So yes, this design now is more than more than 12 years. But looking at it, looking at how this MacBook is, honestly, it is still slick. I honestly love it. Like if you get this MacBook today because of the design. It's still screaming premium. But one thing I love about the design is the logo behind it as it's glowing. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like, I don't know. This is just very nice to me. And this is probably the last MacBook with this feature because from 2016 up until 2024, right, Apple stopped using this glowing logo and started using this kind of normal, just black logo, right? And I wish Apple could bring it back to, you know, their recent release. What do you think about that? Now, the next thing I love about this MacBook is also the port. This is when Apple really cared about its users. Look at look at the port we have over here. With this, if I'm to edit or work on this MacBook, I don't need to get an adapter or an extension because on the left hand side over here we have the MagSafe charge, right? The charging port. Okay, we have the two Thunderbolt ports. We have this USB drive port and a 3.5 mm headphone jack. On the right. We have a USB port, we have an HDMI port and also an SD card slot. So you can see why I love the ports. Let's say after shooting on your camera, you get your SD card out, put it over here, you connect your HDMI directly to your monitor. My monitor is behind me. If you have a drive, you plug your drive directly without any stress. Plug your charger, put your, your headphone jack and you're good to go. Unlike my, my previous MacBook, which is the M1, right, the M1 MacBook Pro, it's, I had to get an extension and it was a very annoying because whenever I had to leave my workspace, it became tiring for me. Get this, get that, just so I can work on it. But with this, I am good to go. So it's a plus for the design on this MacBook Pro 2015. Now, off the display. The display on the MacBook Pro 2015 is still amazing. Thanks to the retina resolution, everything looks crisp and clean. Whether I'm editing videos or working on documents or even watching movies, it gives me great video quality. Now, to the audio, webcam, and microphone. This MacBook has 720p HD FaceTime camera. And the surprising fact is, even the MacBook Pro 2020 also has the same 720p HD camera. But well, I'm going to show you guys the FaceTime camera on this. And I want to know your thoughts in the comment section if the quality is nice or yes i would love to hear what you have to say about that okay all right so this is the webcam on the 2015 mac pro well i really think it's fair like it's not the best you know because i have used my 2024 mac pro webcam and i love what i saw about there but look at the price and you know when it was released come on this is actually still very nice but I want to know your thoughts about this in the comment section, okay? And don't forget, guys, give it a thumbs up if you are getting much from this. And also, kindly subscribe to my channel for more tech reviews like this, okay? This MacBook has dual microphone and stereo speaker, but the speaker on this MacBook is actually quite damaged. So I cannot test it for you guys. What I used to edit my videos or watch movies is either a headset or a Bluetooth speaker. Because if I should play music or anything with this, you can see that the speaker is bad. But when it was still working properly, this gave me a decent audio quality. To the keyboard and trackpad, the 2015 MacBook Pro has a backlit keyboard which makes typing in dark very easy. Typing feels nice and satisfying, although the keys are a little firmer compared to my 2020 MacBook. Now, this MacBook doesn't have a touch bar or touch ID like 
you know the twin system I work upwards you have the physical keys for brightness audio and other control the trackpad is also a bit smaller than the newer models but it works very fine it supports gestures clicks and provides subtle feedback now for the performance the model i got is the 2.7 gigahertz dual core intel core i5 processor with 8 gig ram and 128 gig storage and that was the mistake i made when getting this macbook i went to go and get the 128 gig storage instead of 512 gig because see one thing about you know devices both phones macbooks and all once you get fed up very fast it starts to overheat start hanging and lagging yes this happened to me a lot because of the space okay so i did not really enjoy using this macbook to edit videos right well you should know that even if you have to get the one of 512 gig when it comes to editing videos this cannot really handle it so much now your premiere pro your davinci resolve or any other heavy software can enter your words you will clearly hear the fan it's going to be blowing so loud because of something heavy is on this macbook okay so if you are getting this macbook for video editing then just know that it should be for subtle video editing just know your normal vlog take it to CapCut and edit and that is all do not go to premiere pro because this will not even i'm not sure it's going to even open trust me it's going to be very heavy and it cannot even edit 4k videos right if you shoot on camera and take it to cap cuts on this macbook right it's going to be hanging about there it's going to take a longer time for you to edit on this macbook even if you're on cap cuts so 4k videos from camera or every software like premiere pro davinci and the rest of them is a no-no for this macbook so check out another macbook or check out my video on the 2019 macbook pro 2016 or 2020 even the one i bought a present which is the 2024 macbook pro with the m4 pro chip check out my review on all those ones to see if you should go for them instead but guys if you're going for this macbook just for your normal day-to-day -day activities you know writing typing do word documents just something simple then just be my guest this macbook you're going to really enjoy it i just love how slick this macbook is when i'm just typing and all right it's very very neat for simple task now for the software update, this macbook no longer accepts any updates yes since i think a few years back right so even the one that came out this year which is, which is the mac OS 26 right even last year's on mac OS sequoia or something like that you did not get it so if you're looking for macbook to get the latest updates it's a normal for this macbook 2015 right now after the battery so going for this macbook today you know you're going for reused Okay, and one thing about use is you cannot see the battery capacity to be 100%, right? So it's not going to be as strong as a brand new one. So when getting this about three hours, four hours, five hours of normal use, okay, but if you're doing something heavy, you will not last that long at all. Okay, but if you have to go for this, you can actually change the battery. But when changing the battery, please go for an original battery. You don't just go and get like China made or something to now even kill the battery the more. So if you're going to change the battery, just go for an original one. But if you don't change the battery, just know that this is not going to last so long while using it. You're going to need power supply so you can enjoy the MacBook. Now, off the price, and if you should go for this MacBook Pro today, and if I tell you that, if you're looking for the best place to get your iPhone, Samsung, Google Pixel, Infinite Techno, I tell you even MacBooks, yes. Check out my page, which is Mivon Gadgets. Okay, over there, I saw I saw a gadget over there, right? And the reason why I started selling all those things just for you guys is because most people have come to my comment and tell me, ah, smart tips, you know, how do you know a fake iPhone, original iPhone, brand new iPhone and all? And most people are scared of being scammed. So I felt okay, instead of everybody coming to my DM every time, I should check their phone and see if it's original or fake. I said, let me save both of us the stress. I am saving you the money so you won't buy rubbish and I'm saving myself the stress of replying 100 DMs almost every time, right? Let me sell original phones for you guys and we are both happy. Okay, and the funny thing about this is, this is at very affordable rates. Yes, even most of my devices are even more affordable than what you see in the market today and it's original. So you're getting original device, more affordable and peace of mind all in one. So check out my page and you gadgets on TikTok and tell me the gadgets you want to buy and I will get them for you. 
okay so for the price of this it all depends on the ssd you're going for is it 128 gig is it 256 gig and all but random this should be around 250 to maybe 300 and 350k plus right this is how much you can get this macbook and who should go for this macbook if you're doing something minimal then this macbook is going to be good for you right but if you're looking for like something powerful then you have to go for a maybe the 2020 macbook pro with a good storage 512 gig or one terabyte go for that or if you have money just check out this video where i talk about the macbook pro with the m4 pro chip okay and if you have just around 300 000 to spend for your macbook or for your laptop well i'm not sure the macbook is the one you should be going for i usually advise you for you can just probably go for let's say um maybe hp hp of around that 300 000 can give you something more than this is going to give you actually yes i'm be actually being honest right now because this is what i do my channel i give you guys honest review okay and even hp or maybe windows or other brand laptop right can even can even do something a bit heavy compared to this so you can now compare and contrast most you go for a macbook or you need something that is going to really serve you then you now go for the one that is best for you let me know which one you guys will be going for all right and i'll see you guys over there and if you're nigerian well this is for nigerians i've created a video where i show you guys how you can get 9 gig worth of data for just 1000 era yes and there are lots more calls on that video or this video i seen on your screen go and check it out so that you can get the best data bundle just for yourself okay so guys i will see you in my next video as we discover the smart online tips